so welcome to another riding video brought to you by PlaySafe Productions. So I started out the day uh, riding along the Nakdong River in South Korea. Um, now the sand that I'm riding on now is really soft, uh, a lot of it's been uh, pumped up out of the river. Um, and these trails are actually made by bulls, so they have uh, fighting bulls and they uh, drag tires behind them. So this is the road that they use uh, along the river to truck all that sand out, so it's pretty firm underneath because of all the trucks that are running over it all the time. Now this is further up the river, um, on a, an actual road that uh, is used, uh, not that much, but basically by farmers. Um, this is a tunnel now, I'm using a GoPro Silver 4, um, and you'll notice when you know you go through the tunnel it really lightens up. Uh, now when I was actually riding through the tunnel I could basically see nothing, I could see a little bit of my light um, on the front, uh, and that was about it, but you know on the GoPro you can see all the walls and all the, uh, the colours and the shades and all the rest. So. The amount of uh, light that the GoPro lets on is absolutely amazing. Um, now, as we get out of the tunnel, you can see it, it uh, adjusts the light settings. So, riding along one of the dikes, uh, the dikes are quite fun to ride on. Um, again, pretty good condition for riding. Um, you get to about 100, 100 kilometers per hour. Uh, this is a friend I was riding with on, on the day, um, so I decided I'd let him go first and uh, film him for a little bit. So, this has been late running the day, uh, heading up the uh, so called Tomonje, so one of the mountain uh, rides. It's beautiful for riding at all the sports bikes that come out every weekend. Um, basically they cruise up and down this road, so it's quite a nice road for, for riding up. Um, you notice some red patches. The red patches on the roads are actually, it's a uh, uh, surfacing material that they use as extra high grip. Um, so right around here is where I actually rode off my R6 uh, quite a few years ago. I came around one of these corners, a uh, blind corner, and um, yeah, ended up, uh, the bike went into a wall. So we ended up stopping up at the top of the hill. It's a beautiful uh, uh, view at the top of the hill here, and there's actually a, we call it a tent restaurant in South Korea. And they're always pretty much the same. So it's actually been here for several years, and just eat some uh, nice noodles. So I thought I'd use a different uh, mount and uh, call my friend from the back. Um, didn't work out as well as I was hoping. And this is actually exiting. So this is just another uh, one of the mountain roads that runs along that mountain that uh, we we're riding up initially on the sealed surface. Um, and this is one of the roads that. Uh, it goes to nowhere actually, it just leads into the, the forest so it runs around the mountain and then it just kind of stops abruptly. So. But I thought I'd use uh, one of the rear, rear mounts of the GoPro, I've actually mounted it to the luggage racks because uh, I don't actually take uh, any luggage bags with me when I'm riding. riding we decided we'd uh, head back home so this is us crossing the uh, Nakdong River so the river that we'd been riding along most of the day. Um, my friends decided that the uh, engine guard is a nice place to rest his feet. And returning into Changwon Motorad, South Korea uh, which is in the, the southern part of the country. So if you have any questions about the F800, uh, the 2012 model or the 2014 model, the adventure model, um, just shoot them through and I'll do my best to answer them for you. If you like the video, don't forget to rate and subscribe, it helps me out a lot. Thanks and take care.